Hi, right, Tom. Just a couple of key points here that I think you need to work on. First of all, if we look at Charlie Wee's top of the backswing position. Wee's hitting driver also. We have compared you to him in the past. couple of things that I think you need to look at from this perspective. This right foot is a little bit too much flowed out, which is causing you to overturn and also get a little bit long in the backswing. So I'd like to see you shorten that backswing up a little bit, keeping it round about that position just short of parallel rather than getting too long that right foot's turned out and we tend to get a little bit too much on the outside of it so when you're looking at your foot flow for you i'd suggest moving that right foot in slightly keeping that left foot turned out 15 20 degrees or so as you see it there so a little bit of alteration in your foot flow helping you to shorten your backswing up but also focus on controlling the length of your backswing a little bit when looking at it from down the line now then if we look at it from face on a couple of things i'd like to look at now the flooring of the foot could assist with this anyway but what we see here is the left knee moves in towards the right knee a little bit too much during the early part of your takeaway so you've got a little bit too much movement towards the right knee with the left knee when what we see here with Charlie Wee is we see that that left knee stays out in front of the golf ball much more. Remember the movement of the left knee during stack and tilt is out towards the ball, not in towards the right knee. So again, we need to firm that leg action up a little bit. And that change also can help you curtail the length of your backswing just a fraction. What we then look at though, Tom, is we're still too eager to release that golf club. From this point on now, we're going to start to try and roll the forearms at it. You can see the elbows dividing, which is a sign that you're releasing your angles a little bit too early coming into it. You're not maintaining the flying wedge in the right arm, and that right forearm is considerably over the left as we come to impact. Way too much flip. Whenever you see someone flipping the golf club so much, you also see them exiting very high so you can see you're very eager to get that club on the inside so that you can release it so we definitely need to get a feel of being a little bit more out in front of us at this point and keeping the hands quiet through impact if we look at the difference with charlie Wee as he's coming into impact he's not in a rush to release the club head he's not in a really in a rush to get rid of the angles in his right forearm and shaft club works back on the inside a little bit better than we see with yourself and a much lower exit point with the club and the arms. You can see the arms are straighter for longer. Again, when viewed from face on, better leg action, more solid, able to move forward for longer, very quiet with the hands, much better extension coming through, not the, not the substantial wrap over that we see with yourself, with your forearms through impact much much too high much much too long in the finish so just to summarize turn the right foot in try and quieten the legs down a little bit shorter backswing and feel that you're going to hit some knockdown shots feeling like you're going to hit a few punch shots when you've got your driver will help make your hands a little bit more passive and help get rid of that wrap around finish which is only arrived at due to a high exit and to active hand action. Alright, good luck with it. Speak again soon.